hey guys what is happening uh so i just want to show you something real quick about integrating splunk with saml or sso uh, it can be your octa your azure um, your ping for right whatever you can think of right uh, so today i'm not going to speak about how to do the integration part because it's very well documented uh, so what i want to uh, really show you today is how the whole thing works right uh, so currently uh, so we have uh, users here right uh, so right now i'm on a splunk uh, all in one search it right uh, so we have the etc user folder here so inside there we have all these user folders so inside all these uh, folders is the uh, user's private content right so this is what i'm talking about so i created a few uh, users like the uh, local users here on the search it right so when i created it it created a few uh, folders right so if you go to user one you can see there are some content there right so this is like a, a local search that this user created So this, uh, this is just some dummy local search that this user created, but then the one that this user didn't uh, make public, right? So this is a private search. So just to make it uh, real clear, so if you come here, right, you will uh, find all the uh, users content which are not shared, right? Uh, not shared, it is just laying as private, right? So the purpose of this video is, um, so let's say you have already uh, configured your Okta or SAML or whatever. So for this video, I configured um, Okta, right? So I have already done this part, right? So now what is going to happen is if, um, so what I have done is I set it in such a way that the users will actually use the email address to log it, right? Uh, they won't be using the user names anymore. Uh, they'll be using the email address. And now, uh, look what actually happens. I'm just going to create a start a new private window, uh, right? Uh, Splunk. So this is my uh, domain name, right? So I'm getting uh, redirected to Okta, right? And then I'm going to log in as user one at. Uh, So this is my um, domain name, right? Uh, and then I'm going to put in my password, right? So I'm put in my password. I got redirected to Splunk Cloud, right? Uh, everything is good. Everything is working. But then what what, what you have to uh, notice this when I logged it as uh, an octa saml user right look at my user name it's actually like a different um, username right it's different to what uh, the local content had right so this is like two separate usernames right so what i'm trying to say is the new user that just logged in right he actually lost all his private searches right uh, he doesn't have private search no private dashboard everything uh, it's all gone right now if you leave it like this and if you go here and if you actually delete the user from here right uh, so let's say you delete the um, private uh, i mean delete the local user from here right uh, thinking that everyone are going to saml you don't need the local user these things the private content of user one will be lost forever although the you th although this user one and this user is actually the same user the way splunk works is when the u end user logged in with saml uh, using his email address splunk recognizes it as a new user right uh, so this is not documented anyway so this is something that you have to keep in mind right uh, so now if we come here back to our back to our command line 
you, you said it actually created a different folder for the new user this is not the uh, recommended behavior because the user is going to lose all his private content right so if you are ever going to uh, integrate Splunk with SSO I mean most of you would be thinking of doing it because it's much more secure than using local all right uh, so the first thing that you have to do is uh, so for the purpose of this video I'm just going to uh, delete this uh, user right Uh, okay so now what you have to do is you have to manually create uh, the new folders all right uh, so I'm going to uh, quickly uh, create new user folders here right so let so what I done is uh, I created a list of all the uh, users that I have to create right uh, so these are the users that I have to uh, manually move right uh, and then I'm going to uh, do like this while read uh, name do uh, uh, do cpfnr dollar name to dollar Right. Uh, so what all it does is it's reading the name, right? Uh, the name of the user, and then it's just doing a copy, right? Uh, it's copying the um, the new name from the old name. It's copying it and adding the uh, domain. That's all it's doing, right? Uh, and then done and names. Uh, so now we have created all the. Uh, new user home directories right uh, so let's quickly log into this uh, home directory cd right uh, so this user already have his saved searches right uh, ready uh, for the user to log in all right <coughs> so now when this user logs in right um, that user is automatically going to get all his private content ready when he logs in there's nothing more that you as an admin have to do right uh, so let's quickly test this out uh, i'm going to log out right uh, and then i'm going to log in as a new user right uh, so i'm going to log in as user 2 right put in the password uh, oh right uh, uh, so now I'm going to log in as the user right and put in the password Right, so the new user is logging in. Right, uh, everything is working. He got to the home folder. Right, and now when he searches for his private content, right, his private content is actually there. Uh, yeah, I think you have to uh, because we done this thing uh, manually. You would have to restart your uh, Splunk surgeon, right? Uh, so let me quickly restart the Splunk surgeon. Um, the reason is because you created the uh, home folders by yourself, right? Uh, you would have to restart your surgeon. So let's uh, let's wait for the restart to complete. Uh, and then we re-log in and then you will find all the private content there. Right. So this 
the reason why i made this video is because it's not actually uh, mentioned in the documentation all right uh, so it's very common to see people uh, integrating after uh, or for that matter any uh, saml solution and then they will actually find uh, they will actually find their private content missing right so like i said owner user to all he did is he just logged in and he found his uh, private content so this is ready to go the, this user can start using splunk right so if you don't use this if you don't do the step right just remember this person will actually lose out all his private content right uh, it, this can be like uh, let's say your uh, user id that you try to log in is uh, maybe your last name first name right same issue you will run into the same issue because splunk doesn't understand that they are these users are related splunk will actually create new home folders based on what, the names that are coming in that is why you have to create your home folder first once you integrate your octa or azure or ping fed right doesn't matter what you do uh, just make sure that once the user logs in that user is able to see the uh, home folder right so this is ready to do go and then one last thing that you you have to do is the way uh, so everything is working right uh, so your users are all uh, logging in their private content are all migrated everything is good you don't go and delete uh, these things through the command line right because if you delete this right so let's say you want to delete user one user two user three you can there's nothing stopping you from doing it but it's not the right it's not the clean way to do it like don't do like this right you have to do it through the ui uh, i know it's it's a bit of work but actually it's better if you do it through the ui because when you do it through the ui splunk in the background actually deletes uh, this user records from other places like splunk actually keeps uh, the the passwords of these users uh, in a different file right uh, so if i do a, a password you see so all these users passwords are kept in this password file so if you are actually manually deleting these folders from the etc home folder right this thing will still lie there it won't actually clear out right so just make sure create when you create it with saml copy the users uh, home folders ac uh, according to the names just like i did here all right uh, and when you uh, when you delete it you delete it through the ui all right user one got migrated to uh, user one so this is user at domain right user two at domain like that uh, so that is all i have for now uh, so this is just the first part of integrating saml uh, so this is exclusively we are talking about um private content right uh, there's other things that you have to keep in mind when you're do integrating saml like um, shared content where there is the local meta right so i'll actually um, talk about that in a separate video where uh, i'll show you how to rename your local meta right or else you all your searches will become abandoned right uh, so i'll talk about that in a separate video so the this is just something that you can do to um, start your journey with uh, Azure or your SSO and uh, just keep um, just keep this thing in mind. So thanks guys. So that is all I have for now.